Hey, this is Rob Win by doing, coming to you with a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe a show and tell, just to give you kind of an idea of some of the items that we might run through our auction house. Many of you know we started this this year, started in January, where, believe it or not, we've gone through 20 auctions, I think we're on auction 21 right now, up to about 450 to 500 items. And I just thought I'd give you a quick go around of some of the crazy stuff that we might get on a weekly basis. As I said, it's a mess in here, but it's always a mess. It's a revolving mess. Week over week, it's a brand new mess. Just kind of give you some of the cool things that we have and the oddities, I guess you'd say. There's this old uh, hand crank cast iron. That's actually up this week. Cast iron on a wood base coffee grinder. Last week, we ran that knight's helmet as well as the moose. Let I me mean, check out this. It has all these jewels and everything else on uh, one of our top sellers last week. I have this clay uh, art. It's a mask. You name it. It's got a marking on the back of it. I have not been able to find out who did it. We have fish. This is our uh, animal wall, I guess you could say. This is sold too. Just hasn't been picked up. I'm waiting for that. But we run anything from taxidermy items to... Health related items, furniture, we got an old scale there. I tell you what, this is kind of crazy here. I have these this week. I have um, their artist proofs. And what you get in a box, I mean, the, all these are signed, numbered with the title of the painting, the artwork, and the, the print. You can't really see it, but those things are imprinted into this paper. It's Archer paper made in France. But what you get in a box is. It's not the entire run because some of them were missing. Um, these were run and runs of 300. But you get the same it's the same print all the way through. That one happens to be 196 out of 300. The next one might be 195 and so on. And that's one box for that particular print. And I've got another one that runs, uh, that has a couple hundred of them in there. We have this. This is kind of a cool piece. It's a a um, quilted I don't know if you call it folk art or not coming up next week I got this John Deere tractor I love you've seen those uh, Audubon Society clocks that chirp with a different bird each hour this actually chimes the tractor that, that on each hour of course we got frozen we have some more prints down here you saw me probably tripping over these I have the barn Yard, or no, I guess a feed. I switched them up a little bit. It did say barnyard. These large signs that probably come off an old feed store. Moving on around, I've got another set of those prints. This happens to be Devil's Slide. This one's 115 out of 300. And as you can see, it's the same deal. There's a slide. Look like, you know, if you, if you go too fast with your sled down that in that winter scene, you're probably going to be hurting the next day. Coming up in the future, we have this. This is a handcraft. This is going to be in this next week. A handcrafted writer's desk. I actually knew the person that made this. Um, great craftsmanship go that has gone into that. And we, we do everything from furniture pieces to artwork to fishing gear. We uh, we do you know things that you run on you use on an everyday basis. We have some rocks. This is a solid wood. Um, rocking chair i mean this thing's thick i don't know if you can see how thick that seat is but that that is well made i'm not sure the maker i haven't looked to see if that was in there but you know we have ottomans we have um racks for storing your brochures or hanging for retail purposes there's another one of those prints there this one's running this week as well we even have billy bass that ran last week moving on you know we have toys you know just to kind of give you a I remember playing with these when I was a kid, these old wooden spools, almost like building blocks. Um, some horseshoe art. There's a uh, books, burlap, an old radio. There's a Marlboro bag, some camera lenses. This one was probably, this is my pick of the week that as I did on my Facebook um, for the shop itself. You turn this thing, you, you know, you think, oh, it's just a lighthouse. You turn that on, listen to that. The light, oh, there goes the bell. Warning of sh ship, warning ships of a coastline near. Steer clear. That is just cool. I don't know why I'm so drawn to that, but we have other nautical things this week. It's like a nautical theme. We have some old beer trays. 
You've probably seen some of the some of this stuff in some of my hauls. I've cleared out my eBay inventory, dropped it down to probably um though I think I have one or two items on there right now. Talking about art, oh, there's a little scale up there and an old mixer. I mean, I'm running through all kinds of vintage. I love this job just for this fact. I mean, look at the, look at the um, advertisement there for that Ma Magnetto reproduces in actual color. Could you imagine that back in the day, getting that for Christmas, waking up one morning and being drawn all day long? Look at this. In one lot, we have tons of these prints. I mean, it has everything from boxing thing. These are actually paintings made into paper. On the back of it, they actually show what the art is, the artist, and a little information about it. I mean, there's some Courier Ives in there as well. Um, I'm not sure. This, this It seems like every time I go through these, I'm drawn to this one immediately. I, I don't know where she's crawling from or where she's crawling to. It almost reminds me of... Um, Dorothy before Auntie yelling for Auntie M when the storm rolls in. But yeah, there's just all kinds of prints here. We do lawn and garden tools. You know, we have old glassware, crystal books. That's some uh, Mark Twain collection down there. Um, blank media. Let's see what else we got coming up that, what, that we go through. Look at that. Iron Goat Brewing Company, Spokane, Washington. I mean, do you remember these? These are those touch touch lamps. You touch a lamp, the lamp comes on. It might have had two or three settings. I didn't actually test that. My wife did, but um, it does work. We read, we have comic books. And like I said, it looks like a mess in here. There's our coffee and Oreo station. We always advertise bid more to win where the coffee is hot and the Oreos are flowing. Coming right. Oh, next week. You know what? I got found a lot of these... Uh, Ertle, John Deere tractors, there's a few of those coming up. Bird feeders, I mean, we we run it all, anything. We have we have typically three types of buyers, I know I've mentioned this in the past. We have collectors, we have um, resellers, and we have uh, people that just find that, you know, they need, it's just to use, buy things that they need. So we try to cater each and every one of those customers. You know, coming up next week, we even have... There's a trilobite in there. There's also some quartz and oh look at that one there. That's kind of cool. We had a Hummel up there. We have we ran file cabinets, bicycles. This is something coming up this next week. I finally decided to let it go, folks. How many people do you know actually owns a submarine door? Isn't that cool? That thing is fully functional. I thought about going home, mounting it on the in the spare room. That way, when my daughter comes home from the Navy to visit, she'll feel right at home. But my wife wouldn't have that. But yeah, that's what we do here. We have uh, you know a little bit of everything. There's some clothes. I don't run a lot of clothes through here. Um, you know, it has to be something special. I love old furniture like this. This little stepping stool. It's like a handcrafted job. Uh, one of our carts there in the way. But. Um, you know, we run glass, you name it, we got it. This I thought was kind of cool. It's a Back to the Future time machine. That model is, it's the cellophane on the outside was taken off, but it's still, um, everything is sealed inside. This one I first saw, I had no idea what it was. It's got a handle. If any of you know what, what this is before I say at the end of the video, um, Leave the comments down below. Say, I knew exactly what it is. Don't look it up. But I tell you what, it's something that you would never want to have. I even have this Sylvania video quarter, old vintage piece of electronics. I especially love and drawn to old testers like this, a no scale potentiometer. We have fishing gear, some wood art. Look, there's Sweetie down there. And going down, we even. We do um, really well, or we have done really well in the past with uh, dehydrated food. Uh, there's some uh, bath salts and stuff. I mean, we, you name it, we run it through here at Bid More to Win. Just kind of give. I have no idea what a nematron is, but it looks cool. I would just, I, I would, I, it would be kind of cool just to um, retrofit that with a television and mount that in the wall. I love these too. This is an old um, potentiometer here. 
it does this is a scale potentiometer if you're worried about what that is that is actually a handle on this one and there's one right back there that that has the handle on it this one i was particularly drawn to i just old advertisement um logos this is actually a general electric if i can get that open with one hand it has a big GE logo on there. You pop that open and look at that. I don't know why I like enjoy that so much, but that to me I find stuff like that cool. I like that little cowboy up there too. But ironwork work, you name it. I have large art. Um, I've started getting into selling a little bit of ammo as well. But um, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Just kind of giving you a preview of what we do have, what we carry, um, what is involved with running an auction house and the crazy stuff you come across. But um, anyway, that's it. It's a, just a quick video. I've been trying to put out a little bit more content um, just because I took a hiatus from it. Look at all those sports cards. No, for me, sports cards aren't dead. You buy it in bulk, you break it up, and you can still make a few bucks off of it. Um, but yeah, that's it in a nutshell. And um, I'm going to leave y'all, let y'all get back to whatever you're doing before you hit the play button on this. And yes, it does look like a mess. Look at it. Oh, gobble, gobble. There's my turkey. Got to hold on to it for a while. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Thanks again. Peace out.